talk the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. We waited a long time, and now we've got this fight. Good counter punching. And he misses with that jab. A perfect counter shot. Both men step back for just a moment. Good counter left hand there. That counter shot lands. Neither man really defending themselves. Offensive display landing that left counter. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You're going to swarm on your case. You know you've got to fight. You've got to hold him. You've got to tie him up. You're going to lean on him when you come in until the referee makes you break up. But keep your hands high because I will keep punching until that referee said stop. Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Fourth they go in this round, the momentum continues to shift. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Catch and shoot. And he fails to score with that left hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This... And here's the bell to start round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be afraid. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again. And your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Slugger, as you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. A win is not just a win for some fighters. They need to feel the blood, the crunch. They need to get that win. It's obvious the spider is gassed out. Why sit sitting there and throw punches? Nice exchanges from both men at this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Nice exchange here from both men. And a counter left. He threw the hook, didn't land. Let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. He is down big time on the score. Every second, every minute. On to the third. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They're going to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your <laughs> come back. Then, put the pressure on. He's got to figure out a way to neutralize that length. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long loop. Not many fights can do that. Both of these men's 
showing exceptional chins, by the way. Which one of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore? Great counter right hand there. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. And this is for that jab. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. You're in there with a guy so big in front of you. You've got to be smart. You've got to use your smarts and use that skill. This is what you've prepared for. You've got to negate that jab late, ride past you, and push his own weight on him. This round can go either way. Ten seconds to go. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Good counter right hand again. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. On to the fourth we go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. There's a counter shot. Neither man really defending themselves. And these shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. Trying to answer that. See if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. Because they're so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight takes on fire. Because someone's gonna get hurt and someone's gonna win. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. with the right counter. Good one. Right punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Fifth we go. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. Good counter punching from both these fighters. All right. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a cusp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Good counter punching for both these athletes. They figure out the combination to this safe. It just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. He caught him big time. He is down hard. I don't know if he's going to beat the count here. Running out of time. Two, three, four, five. Another 
back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. He just misses with that big right hand. Beautiful counter shot. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably around he'd rather forget. This next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. To make it. This is the beginning of round six. We couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That's a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him. Go and push him down. Punch him in the back. Of Keep letting the shots go because you know the one shake your leg. They're at a Nazi away from getting stuck. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Still swinging with nothing left. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. They exchange punches. that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Nice punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Beautiful counter punch. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Leaves a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get a kitchen sink. He's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up. Body in there. Be smart. Change your angle. Go out there and finish it. He's ready. Here we go, it's round seven. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. That left counter was perfectly timed. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. And he just missed with that left jab. figure out the combination to this sink. He got out of the way that right hook. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. How do you know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab? They're that powerful. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Counter scores. That hook was thrown with some bad intentions. Nice counter. 
counter shot. Good counter punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. That left counter punch to score. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. And they're back at it again here in round eight. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? Another scoring shot there. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Tosh, you know what? Sometimes on a belly ring, your thighs like that, and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Nice counter punch. Going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Punch, counter punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Left hook just missed. Good left counter that lands. Good job getting out of the way of that left. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they went out of steam. A counter shot lands. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Sometimes it can be this. There's the bell to start round 10. 
Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if he can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come up and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you on the pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not clear. Be sharp. Punch. And he just misses with that jab. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin, mate. You know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing up and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Smoking Joe may go. Is he still on his feet? Disaster averted. And counter punching. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Perfect counter land. Tell this guy he's got to do something different. This is the 11th. We've entered the championship round. After that last round, something has got to change. Counter punching. Punch, counter punch. Nope, that hook won't score. has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are we about to see the end of an era? Are we about to see Joe? A knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once. This is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it. <laughs>